Voice-controlled AI such as Siri and Alexa are becoming a part of our life. The basic technique for them to understand your voice is converting your voice into text. Today, I will teach you how to convert audio to text by using a Python library, Speech Recognition. Speech Recognition is one of the most popular library that could convert voice to text. Speech Recognition does not need to build a script to access a microphone and process audio files from scratch. It only takes a few minutes to automatically complete audio input, retrieval, and operation. Therefore, the ease of use is very high. Speech recognition has seven different recognizers, and today we are going to use Google Web Speech API in this video. Note that the Google API requires an internet connection. Please make sure the internet is well connected when using this API. The first step will be install the library. So like any other Python libraries, you can just Google the official website, search speech recognition, then find the official website and find the command to install the library. In here, it's pip install speech recognition. Notice that the S and R are capitalized. But one thing you need to know is if you are going to use microphone as the source input, it's very important that you need to also install high audio. This is a library they use to support microphone input. And the way to install Pi Audio is quite different between Windows, Mac, and Linux. In Windows, it's Python M pip install Pi Audio. And only use Pi install Pi Audio works for me in my Linux system, but you can also use package manager to install Pi Audio. Command here, our list here, and also you can find this command on Pi Audio official website. So all you need to do is do this command first in your Linux system, then do pip install Pi Audio. In Mac OS, it also requires some um, other library before you install Pi Audio. So in Mac OS, what you need to do is brew install port audio. With port audio, you, you can install your Pi Audio to your Mac OS. And after the port audio, it's the same command, pip install Pi Audio. Because I already have Pi Audio in my laptop, so I will skip the step of installation. Now let's try convert an audio into text. And the first step is to import our audio file. Because I'm not using microphone now, so let's come out of this sentence. And the way to input audio by using the speech recognizer is say audio file equal to sr dot recognizer sorry it's audio file and the path of audio in our case it's audio dot wave so now let's start recognize the audio i think it's better for me to play this audio and you can know what this audio is about hello world Yes, as you can hear, it's just a simple hello world audio. So now what I'm gonna do is with oh, a file, so with audio file as source. So audio file will equal to the recognizer dot record source the way the reason we're doing this is because our recognizer will ask for audio data instead of uh, instead of the audio file type and this convert audio data so now let's try how 
if we can convert this audio successfully. Say try text. Let's just do print. Recognizer dot recognize Google and then audio file. But there is possibility that we cannot actually do these things. So in this case, we want to add a exception. Say if we cannot actually recognize the audio, it will say could not understand. So it's wrong. This problem. As you can tell, in this terminal, we got could not understand. And now we're going to try how to use microphone as source and see if we can catch better results by using microphone. So um, the previous audio file was converted by some um, text to audio converter. So it's not actually human voice. That's that could be a reason why the recognizer could not understand our audio. So this time we're going to try use microphone. So now let's start with microphone. So before microphone recording, let's delete the audio file. So we can only focus on microphone. And now we're going to use microphone as a source. As you can see here, mic equal to SR, which is speech recognition dot microphone. And one thing I forgot to mention is here, don't forget to define the recognizer by using SR dot recognizer. So now we are going to use microphone as a source and we're going to say, um, say something. And the audio will equal to recognizer dot listen source now our recognizer will listen to the source which is microphone and here our recognizer dot recognize google we need to recognize audio instead of audio file now i actually already have a piece of code that used to cheat mac uh, microphone as a source so now i will just use that code directly. I'm going to copy paste here and let's try. Hi, can you hear me? And you can see in here we got hi, can you hear me? Which is oh just sad. So this is a good sign. But you know if we are using say um some voice controlled AI and you will you will notice that sometimes you can keep Keep saying, keep saying, and they can recognize first sentence, second sentence. Now, how the, how can we do that? So the first step, let's say, make this voice recording as a function. Define audio recording and put all the things inside a function. So what we're gonna do in the main script? Let's say while true. Or maybe we can let it say sleep for one second. Time dot sleep one, and don't forget to import the time package here. Then we do audio recording. So now let's run the section. Hi, can you hear me? Hello, it's second recording. Hello, it's second recording. So let's end up here because this is the uh, end of soup. So it will keep recording and recording, but sometimes it will be quite slow because it doesn't know if you end this sentence or not. And you will notice that it's not 100% accurate. See in here, I said it's second recording, but said hello, it as recording. And I repeated it twice, so it captured two sentences. And sometimes the unknown variable will occur because it actually could not understand what you are talking about, like what happened to our wave audio. And I guess it for for our wave audio is because of its uh, machine generated 
audio, which makes it difficult to understand. And also, sometimes there will be a request error, which there could be a problem connected to your hardware, like microphone. Then it could not capture audio. So in this video, we introduced how to use speech recognition to convert the audio file to text. Next time, we will discuss how to teach your computer to understand your voice command. Unspec is its voice. This video is helpful.